Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And today we just got off the Carnival Splendor. We're only in Sydney, Australia for a day. We're doing a back to back, which means we've been on this ship for eight days. We're here for a couple hours. We'll get back on the ship. And we're doing another cruise for nine hours. But in the meantime, we nine have- Nine days. Nine days, not <laughs> nine hours. It'd be so short. It's like a river cruise. Yeah. Um, how long are we in town for? I think I was gonna say like five hours. Um, from like until 2 Four to 45 five. until 2 45 and it's what almost 10 almost 10 so we're gonna go ahead behind me is the harbor yeah. where the uh Sydney opera house lives over here are all the little restaurants where if you saw our video we came down to the opera house we had seafood last week but on the other side of those little shops is a lot of green space and one of those green spaces is the royal botanical gardens which are free to the public and mom and I are gonna go check it out. Yep. So, and you can just see the stairs to the opera house yes. on the other side of the ship. So the opera house literally. is literally like right behind the ship. Right behind the ship. Right behind it. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna walk, we're gonna have to walk all the way around the harbor, past the ferry terminal, past the restaurants. And I believe right kind of in this space is where you go to get to the botanical gardens. Uh, but when we get over there, there's a sign I saw when we were eating lunch last week that says Botanical Gardens this way, and that's where y'all will uh, pop back into the video, okay? See you on that side. All right, y'all, we're halfway around the harbor. We walked right here, and I just want to show you here at Wharf 3, you can either take the ferry, there's a couple ferries you can take, or there is the tickets right here for the hop on hop off bus. So and there's a ferry too that's included with that. There's a ferry that's included with the hop on hop yeah, off bus. It's like a harbor, ferry. harbor tour. Yeah. So if you are looking for this, here you go, wharf three, that's where you need to come to get your tickets. Did she say how much it was? No. For the the ferry, I think it was thirty dollars and it takes you all over the place, but it didn't say for the bus for the yeah we looked up for the bus when we were here before but i don't remember yeah i don't know either way we're gonna keep going like i said we're halfway around the harbor and go up and left the botanical gardens are ahead let's go found an elevator that says it goes to the royal botanical gardens which i'll find out you can see we're at the end of the harbor straight ahead is the opera house and out this way is a lot of stairs, which is what it's telling us to take. So yeah, we're not looking forward to that. We're gonna try this here lift instead. Oh yeah, it looks like it goes straight across here. Yeah. And then it looks like there's stairs right there. Well, we might have to Maybe do some stairs. I guess we'll find out. I think we have to cross that street. Yeah, it says, there you go. Botanical gardens this way. So we'll keep following the signs, but this helps us not climb those stairs. That would be great. And you can see the entire uh, harbor that we just walked. Off the ship down around elevator all right i'll meet y'all at the end of the the strip all right we made it to the end this little area actually took us right over a road that we would have had to cross if we went up the stairs all these these big aloe plants mom Century, Century plants. plants. That's what they look like. I wonder what these are. Oh, that's. I want to say wandering Jew. That's more purple, I thought. It, it, I've seen it in different. Different hues. Variations. Yeah. And now we are in the green space. So.
Where does it say we have to go for the garden? Down and around. Yeah. All right, we'll meet y'all down there. Dun, 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 dun. Gate open 7 p.m. daily. And you can see we are just right down the, the path from the elevator. And if we went straight across There's some the road, yeah. shorter stairs, the longer stairs are right in here. We are going to go ahead this way. Is that a hibiscus standard? It just probably just grew into a tree. It's really tall. It's feet. I don't think that century plant. Oh yeah. I don't think it's a hibiscus at all. No. Look at something else. Oh, that vine that we had at home that I is cute. I wonder if he's more filled in at some parts of the year. Says, give me a cracker. Must be. They must, because he's not even phased being this no. close to people. Salvia. Yeah. Inside the boxwood. Inside the boxwood. Blue salvia. Are we at Laura's house? Oh, look at this. They've got the Silver Falls Dichondra as a ground cover. I like that. I've never thought about planting it. That's a good idea. On the ground as a like filler spiller kind of thing. That's really nice. I like that a lot. I might try that this year. I like how low it is. Yeah, it is. It's only like four inches tall. This is just a tall white salvia. Yeah. And a butterfly bush. And something blue. I don't know, but I like the layering. It's pretty. You want to go down or up? Um, down. Okay. Sprayers. Oh yeah, emitters. Yeah. That's nice. There's another butterfly. And this is the end of their season. Oh, look there, they've got a bunch of dahlias up there. The little ones. And... End of some black-eyed Susan. Is that balloon flowers? Where? No. There. No. Is those cosmos, maybe? Mallow. 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 I'm pretty sure that's what they It's pretty. 
Oh, oh goodness. Here's some cosmos and amaranth. I got some amaranth to plant in my cut flower garden this year. Zinnias. Yeah. Behind them. Cosmos. This is the end of their season. Yeah. So. It's their fault. Fall. That's how tall some of these cosmos are. Look at that little. Of course, they're on a burn, too, you know. Yeah. Which is such a great way to display your plants. Oh, an artichoke. doesn't have one. No. Squash plant. Amaranth. I heard someone say once that the true definition of a cottage garden, which is one of my favorite types of garden, is more of a traditional kitchen garden with flowers and vegetables and squash and things you would use in a kitchen all together, not separate. Like you don't have a kitchen garden and a flower garden. You just have a garden and squash yeah. grows next to the zinnia, next to the artichoke, next to the cosmos. It's pretty. Some kind of herb. Some kind of herb. I think it's like basil or... It smells good? Yeah. Oregano or something. Better be careful. We've got to go through customs back on the ship. Oh, yeah. Can't be smelling like basil. More butterfly like bush. It. Oh, yeah, but it's a butterfly bush. bush. It says yeah. Neho Lu. And Magic Fountains Dark, Dark Blue. Blue. Yeah. We're definitely getting to the botanical part of the garden. Lots and lots more flowers. This is a pretty color. Another I'm, I'm a, I, I like how they use a lot lavender. of butterfly bushes in their garden. Yeah, I like butterfly oh, bushes. Oh, here you go. Yeah. Lamb's ear. That's his favorite. Lamb. I love lamb's ear. She just loves it. Now, see, look, this one has blooms on it. Yeah, mine has never bloomed in three years. I would be surprised if it doesn't bloom this year. We'll find out. Okay. Little tree we saw? What tree? The one over there, look at how, look at the, uh, Oh, the, the wattle tree? Yeah, it looks like the same foliage. Maybe it grows in different varieties. These are pretty gara plants. But they're very, like, round. And then it has the butterflies, the butterflies on top. I'm guessing that's at least like three plants. Oh yeah, you can but, count from the bottom. Yeah, it's still pretty though. <coughs> vines, great vines. European culinary herbs. So here we go, yeah. Traditional herbs used in European cooking are mainly derived from classical Greek and Roman cuisines. Medieval monasteries, especially those in Italy and France, preserved the knowledge of the use of herbs and spices throughout the Dark Ages. Many popular European herbs, such as bay, dill, oregano, mustard, rosemary, sage, and savory um, originated in the Mediterranean region. It's fun. Oh, look, there's some Veronica tucked in back here. I'd like some more Veronica. Oh, and a bunch of strawberry plants. Uh, yeah. Look at all the runners from the strawberry plants. Yeah. I like how they just have them tucked in at the base of the plants. Oh, a bunch of iris. Bunch of iris, but those are pretty in the spring. Oh, 
little pepper plant. I wonder if they ever come and harvest this kind of stuff or if it just gets eaten by the wildlife. Another squash, another dahlia, boxwood cone. Oh, and it has a form in there. It's nice. Looks like lots of marigolds over here. What was alliums? Leeks. Well, tomato plants without a cage, but they're in there. I mean, you can see the tomatoes. There you go. Oh, tomatoes. Yeah. There's lots of little ripe tomatoes in there. It makes sense they put marigolds next to the tomatoes because marigolds help keep a lot of pests away. That's yarrow. I think the other one was. Um, I think you're right. What's the what's what we're talking about? Sedum. Sedum. It was sedum. It said it was sedum. Yeah. Oh, and there's some big tall coneflowers. Oh, I know. And it looks like the garden maintenance lady. <laughs> Little daisies. Cosmos. Snapdragons. These are pretty. What's a Cleome? The one oh, I had in uh, Virginia got like this tall. Got really tall? Yeah, real tall. Black eyed Susans? Oh, I don't know. It looks almost like a viburnum, maybe? Yeah. More and more oh. cosmos. Oh, that's, what is that's it? dill, isn't it? Lady, or parsley. Lady's mantle. It's Not one real. of the two. I know. We're going to have to go sit in the shade for a minute, y'all. Oh, here's some pink. Oh, pink. Oh, that's pretty. This is more what ours looks like. Just Our wild oh, and yeah. sprawling. Yeah. Well, and butterfly bushes typically come out with a big flush in the spring and then you prune them and they'll flush again in the fall. Gara. Gara. So I'm guessing that they pruned them in that shape. It's like bigger plants down there. It is pretty. Sensory fountain. Grass is nice. More Veronica. Speedwell. Oh, look at these, Mom. That's... That's a foxglove, isn't it? That's foxglove. That's a huge yeah. foxglove. That's a foxglove. Yeah. More artichokes, bigger ones. Yep. And still don't see any artichokes growing. At this point in the season, though, they've probably harvested them. Yeah, that's a fun bench where it wraps around. But two in the sun for me. Oh, that's pretty. Burgundy blooms. Me neither. Where did you see a viburnum? Or a vitex, I mean? Um, when we come back around. Okay. Oh, it's going to show with that big tall Oh, yeah. Well, that's fun with the red berries and the purple leaves. Yeah, it is. There's the back of the blue garden bed. Back eyed Susan, they must have all bloomed already. Yeah. Dahlias. More dahlias. 
more down. Primrose. This is Primrose. Ha. Ah, it's pretty. I wonder what this is. It looks like trumpet vine, but I don't think it is. It looks like one of those angel trumpets on Yeah. Ooh, this is a nice big bush. Whatever it is, it's huge. And it's a big tree. More pepper plants. Stop the plant then. Oh, oh, people shame. are stealing plants? That's awful. Cat mint. Yep. That's how would you just come in here and steal someone else's plants? Cone flowers. This is the Vitex tree. Ah. This, we, I have two of them in my yard. I have one. One on each side. This one's definitely it's bigger than yours. Tall, but, but my but look at the trunk on this thing. Mom, you gotta talk at the camera. Look at the trunk. This thing has been here for years. Yeah, I wonder if they've they pruned it pruned it back. A oh, lot. absolutely! Look right here. You can see. Yeah, it's pretty. All right, y'all. I think we're gonna go take a break in that gazebo. See you in a minute. What is it? It's um, obedient plant. It's, what is it? It's called obedient plant. Obedient plant. It's supposed to curve the way you want it to curve. Oops. Didn't need to do you just broke it off. The poor obedient plant. The whole internet's going to see you. They're going to be so mad. It has blooms on it. Yeah. It looks like Rosa Sharon with the blooms. Now oh, there's more butterflies. Look at us. They like this half of the garden better. Maybe. And this is turmeric. Ah. Which is like, it looks like ginger to me. No. That's what they use for the Indian ceremonies for oh, okay. weddings. Oh, okay. They spread oh, yeah. it Look. all over. Ginger. Yeah. It must be a type of ginger. And look at this toothache plant. Huh. I've never heard of that before. Me neither. It's fun though. Yeah, it's interesting. Oh, look at that salvia. It must be really tall to see it over the hedge. chives. I planted some of those last year. Did they come up? Um, yeah. They were on my porch in one of those pots. Oh, okay. They never bloomed. I don't think they liked their spot. I'm gonna have to move them out. Oh, it's big. This is ginger and that's tiger. Why is it false tobacco? It, it's not the kind of smoke. <laughs> <laughs> the bees are still liking all this. Oh yeah. Basil, it says. Perennial red basil. They like it. Those Rhubarb. Vinca. Oh. 
pomegranate. Lion's tail. That looks like a lion's tail. Oh, even more salvia. Smells like mint. Use of medical herms. Leek lily. We must have already harvested all this area. Native violets. So quite a few of these walking around Sydney. They must populate well. I like how short this pink salvia is. Yeah, I it's it's like pretty. It. Plant pesticides. Yarrow. Oh, lots of yarrow. You would use this yarrow in your resin. Yeah. yeah. Why would yarrow be better for resin than other things? This works really well. Oh, look how pretty good yeah, those are pretty. Those are pretty. Those are pretty. Insect repellent. That's what we need. Good. That one butterfly likes this treat. Yeah. Some kind of citrus tree. Red grape. Uh, red fruit. Hmm. I don't see any on it. No. So it I like this, but it, it just it lays down so much. It does fall over easy. More needles. Marigolds. Headed to the visitor center. Let's see what there is to see. What is this red plant? Huh? I said, what is that red plant? It looks like some kind of salvia. This is geranium, hardy geranium. Oh, I've heard that those hardy geraniums are those. great. I want to get some of those eventually. Yeah, me too.
That's cute. Look at the back. 40. Does it show you like how big yes. the actual garden is? It's this bed. Hello. Yes. Oh yeah. That's a big map. And this one here. What's been picked out for oh, okay. the, by the volunteers as things to go and see. And there's a map oh, yeah. on the back of that. And this one always comes in handy because it is shows you all the the animals. Oh, well, good. some of them. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. The ones that you're likely to to see from time to time. Mm -hmm. Seen lots of birds, that's for sure. <laughs> See lots of cockatoos around mm -hmm. and white ibis around. We've seen a lot of them. Yeah. 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 You just got to be careful they don't pinch your food or add it off oh, your well, plate. They were trying. They yes. Were <laughs> so is it? Volunteers who take care yeah. of the gardens? Yeah, well, volunteers that do this, there's paid gardeners and sure. so oh, forth, okay. staff that look after lots of things. Mm -hmm. But the visitor center is volunteers. volunteers. Oh, okay. Okay. I and imagine. The guided walk of the morning is volunteers. Volunteers. That are at 10 o'clock, which means oh, okay. goes each morning. Wow. It's very pretty. Here you go, Mom. I know you like papers. And the other thing that you might want to look at is, if you haven't already, is the calyx there, which we are here. You go up there and up that path up there, the sign that points to it. It's got the largest green wall in the southern hemisphere. Oh, that's, cool. That's 18,045 individual plants in pots make up the design. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a lot of pots. Yeah. We can probably go that way because we're coming back this way, I think. Yes, we are. So you're heading back to which? We're on a cruise ship. <laughs> <laughs> which is down there. On this side of the harbor, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> so... So what ship's on? We're on the Carnival, Carnival Splendor. Splendor. Right. So mm -hmm. it just docked. We did the last cruise and now it's leaving on another one. Yes. So we decided we wanted to come to the garden instead yeah. of stay on the ship. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So it's right. this way you said? It's along there and then there's a, a ship kept to the end of the trees and so forth. And, this part and it'll be on. Up. There's a path that leads to the left. Okay. So We'll look for it. You want to go out that way? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. Ooh, plant of the month. Yeah, that's what. Calabash tree. Huh. Pretty. Ooh. That's a skinny aloe. Yeah, it is. So, from the visitor's center. We'll head back towards that living wall, I guess. Looks like there is a restaurant here if you want to eat while you're at the gardens. And a cafe down below. Not too bad salvia doesn't smell good. Yeah, it just it's pretty though, and it blooms a lot. Yeah, it does. Oh, pentas. We like pentas and some succulents that are struggling. All right, so I'm gonna head back up this way towards the ship and towards uh, what he called the the calyx. Is that what he called it? Yeah. We'll see if we can't find it. It's called to everything bathroom very important now let's go
It has it has seeds in seeds it. Seeds in it. That's fun. I like it. I like the flowers. Oh. Look at all the plants you could buy if you lived here. Yeah, I would buy that one. The one down there, the pinkish one. Yeah, I don't know if this was that. Which one do you like? This one. Oh, yeah, those are pretty. They have nice big leaves. I know. It's all right, you want to go outside this way? Um, yeah, I want to go inside. We're going to go in. It's by donation, so make sure you leave a donation. Oh, wow. Look at all the orchids. Hooker up. All the hooker ups. Yeah. This is pretty cool. And it's shady, which I like. <laughs> Ooh, tree frogs. Look at this little. This is crazy. Is it all hookra, you think, all the way across? Which dog is Harry's mom? Princess? Box gloves, cranium. Look at these and cushion flowers. And over here, look at the color. Pukaraz. Oh, wow. Dahlias for days. Mom is sitting in the desert. 
above your head. It's pretty. I like how they use all the like iridescent colors and glass. Succulents. Interesting. Clone Champion. Many plants you buy in nurseries are propagated using tissue culture. Growing a nutrient rich agar gel, a single cutting can be multiplied into thousands of clones. Interesting. Propagating, of course. It's not a new idea, but it is a great way to multiply your plants, that's for sure. Oh, bee houses, bug houses, always good. Beneficial bugs in gardens. Oh, look at that moss. Don't you just want to lay on that? Oh, this is pretty. Silvery blue. Rainforest refugees. Australia's iconic rainforests are in danger. Fungus is attacking them. That's horrible. There you go, they're protecting the trees. That's crazy. These are just replicas of the real ones, but you get the idea. Unlike the living wall, that is not a replica at all, but a real wall. Pucaras. All right. Those are pretty. <laughs> so, 18,000 individual plants. And there's all the different types of Hoopera. When he said it was a living wall, I wasn't sure what to expect, but I was not expecting yes. Hoopera, were you? No. It's pretty though. It's really and did he say it's the largest living wall in Australia or in the Southern Hemisphere? I don't remember. It's on the video, I believe. We'll look it up. Y'all probably already heard him. All right, we're gonna go visit the cafe and we'll see y'all in a minute. Look how they're living statues with the grass and the plants and the forms. I bet if you're here in the spring and summer when everything's really in bloom, there's even more on like the bee and other things. But we're headed back to the ship, so unless we see anything else super cool like a living whale. We'll meet you at ship. All right, we are back on the ship. So it was probably about an 11 minute walk to the botanical gardens for from about the ship. 22 minutes for us. 22 for us. It's a nice meander. Yes. Um, and obviously you can stop, get some gelato, get some lunch. You don't have to just book it over there. It wasn't bad, but we had it wasn't bad. a lot of places to sit with shade. So we just kept stopping and, and looking at the flowers. I do think of all the things you can do in the Sydney Harbor, you can go to the Opera House, you can walk around the shops, you can take a ferry. There's an entire you know ferry line you can take down, it takes about an hour, and then an express ferry you can take back, little harbor tour. 
you, there's actual harbor tours or whale watching tours or excursions you can do. Um, we did a lot of that. There's a whole zoo exhibit that we went to. I'll link to all those videos down below. But today we wanted a free, easy day. The Botanical Gardens was great for that, and it was a lot of fun to see all the plants. Yeah. Are you glad that we went? Yeah, I liked all the plants. I saw some new plants that I wanted. Yeah, and she did. Had different ways to use some of the plants we had. Yeah, that Silver Falls Diachondra, I always use as a spiller out of my containers. I think I'm going to put it in some of my window boxes this year. But they were using it as a ground cover, so I'm going to try that. And Mom bought some seeds to try. I did buy some seeds. So typically you cannot bring plants back from one country to the next, especially Australia, but you yes. can typically bring seeds. So there you go. We're going to go ahead and go get some lunch, and we will see you all for our first excursion on the third cruise of our Australian journey at the Great Barrier Reef. Yes. We're very excited. Bye. Bye. Good. Mm -hmm. Smells so good. Mm -hmm. Good.